Okay, let's look at the tricky trill and tail part of Boccherini. We're going to look at the one that's on the E string first, and then you can just use the same techniques for the one that starts on the A string. So, here's what we're aiming for. Okay, now what we're going to do first is take away the trill and what I call the tail. We're just left with three notes which we want to be on the beat. We've got an F sharp, one on E, then four on A, which is an open E, should be ringing out, and then one on D, which is another E. So we've got an octave there. Okay, now we want up, down, down, like this. And notice that I'm gonna use tiny amount of bow on the last down bow so that it's really quiet. See, one more time, ready, and tiny. Let's try together, up bow, ready, and again, ready, and well done. Hopefully your E string is ringing out every time you put that four down. Now we're going to try and add the tail. So this is the little E1, right at the end of the up bow, before the four. Now this is a lot trickier for getting over to that fourth finger. Let's try it together. Ready, and. Ready, and. One more time. Ready, and. Well done. If you're finding that tricky, you could try stopping the bow and then doing another up bow to practice that little change of direction. But the tail is really close to where the down bow is, it's right at the end of the up bow. Okay, good. So once we've got our tail in place, we can start thinking about adding the, the, the trill and each little bit of trill we can call a little noodle. One noodle, two noodles, three noodles, maybe. Um, and we just want to gradually add those in at the start of the up bow, and keeping the tail at the other end. Should we try? Ready, and. Eventually, we'll build up to a full trill. Ready, and. Ready, and. Good. Well done. So, make sure you keep going back over all of those sections, working on playing it without the tail and without the trill until you're really comfortable and you've got it in tune and in time. Okay? The last thing that you might want to do is you might want to start the trill on the upper note. So rather than starting with your one down, you might start with your two down and release the two. Okay. Okay, so there's lots of things to experiment with there. Um, I'd go back through this video again straight away with your violin and bow out and try to play along. Okay, have fun.